Hello and welcome to the Ball and After. I'm Emmett Ryan and basketball's kind of closed. We have spent the last week or so watching league after league after league either suspend, postpone or altogether cancel the remainder of its season. We've seen champions crowned without having a chance to fully win it on the court. We've seen a lot of players unsure of how they're going to get home to their loved ones around the world. And we've seen a lot of confusion and that's, that's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. A lot of confusion. Because, you know, I, I, I'm i seeing it here like the rest of y'all. I'm in Ireland. We have likely to see a complete shutdown of all pubs, which is a good thing. I'll get to that, though, later. Uh, all sport, obviously, is off in, in Ireland. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's tough going. Like, you know, we all know the way it went down. There was the big surge, really, I suppose, in the NBA, which all of Wednesday night... <laughs> As in, it's four nights ago uh, that we saw the NBA shut down. This is, that's the crazy part. It's like, things that are like, only days ago feel in ancient history. And uh, that's the part that a lot of people are struggling with. And I get that. I totally do. We're here to help and to spread the love. So, obviously, um, one thing I want to get across is the pubs in Ireland are closed. Or about to be closed. They haven't all closed yet. But they will be, and a lot of basketball is off, and we're all a bit down, and we're all also a little confused. As much as we're worried, we're confused. We're not sure what's going to happen. I'm lucky. I have a job in the media, which, uh, well, in one respect, is unlucky because, of course, if you're a journalist right now, your job is built around the thing, the, the coronavirus, COVID-19, SARS-CoV-2, whichever particular terms you want to use. That's our lives. But, of course, a lot of you, your lives are being impacted by a lot of you, all of you. Your lives are being impacted by life and the reaction to it and you know it that it's that confusion that can be a nerve uh, working from home is kind of normal for me like i've got the setup here uh, the computer isn't set up at the moment but that's mainly because i had it in the living room to just do a few bits yesterday actually on friday it's sunday now we're recording uh, but uh yeah listen we're all confused we're all a bit wrecked uh but and that's the thing we're very, very tired and uh, so one of the things i'm trying to get across is Look after yourselves, and I don't just mean doing all the sensible stuff we should be doing that, we'll get to that. But look after yourself, like, you know, think about your day, think about how you go about it, and try to find a way to make basically the confinement be as normal as possible. And the key thing with that, I'd say to everybody, is that the rest is as important as the work. As in, obviously, if you're so focused on making sure you can work like normal at home or as close to normal as you can, brilliant. But if you're going to do that, the only way to make that part work is to make the bits where you stop work and work as well. So if you have enough space in your place, obviously some people are one room apartments, that's harder. But even with that, try and have this part of where I am is where I'm working or find a way to be able to switch off. I'm lucky I've got a balcony in the gaff so I can just walk out into that and go, coffee, you know, do my thing. And uh, yeah, just like look after yourselves that way. Like it's not gonna be easy. Let's none of us pretend it's gonna be easy, it's not. Especially because not all of us know exactly what's going to happen. And in fact, none of us do. Even you know the smartest people in the world, when it comes to researching this, they're still working out what's going to happen. And that's fine. And I know you're kind of, kind of going, he's touching his face. I will be washing my hands thoroughly after this. Actually, one thing to give you all a bit of lightheartedness. Nicky Ryan is a fellow journalist here in Ireland. He runs a journal. He doesn't run a journal. He works for the journal. I'm, I'm, I'm just annoyed. Another mate of mine, Sinead O'Carroll, was saying, Nicky Ryan runs a journal. Get that out there. Get that out there. Nicky Ryan runs a journal. Okay, I'm in trouble now. Sorry, Sinead. Uh, but anyway, Nicky Ryan, when they had the thing about, you know, you should sing Happy Birthday to You twice, the song, uh, for making sure you're washing your hands long enough, he listed a few alternatives. So what I've been doing is singing the chorus of Mambo Number no. 5. A little bit of Monica in my life, a little bit of Jerrica by my side, a little bit of teen is all I need, a little bit of Reed is what I see, a little bit of Sandra in the sun, a little bit of Mary all night long, a little bit of Jessica, here I am, a little bit of you makes me your man. And that's, you know, what I've been doing. I've been actually doing that it was driving my co-workers crazy as well a little bit uh, seeing me do that so listen we're going to be doing i would actually say more because obviously it had to quieten down a lot when i'd gone into extra virus duty i'm actually increasing my virus duty but with the time i'm going to save in commuting and going out to get groceries and like because i've got most of my groceries for the next week or so already in the house uh, and most of beer, beer as well uh you know we're gonna, i'm gonna have more time to do more stuff so 
one of the things we're doing, which if you're watching this on Sunday when it goes out, Monday, 6 p.m. Irish time, at 7 p.m. CET, uh, I suppose it's, uh, we're gonna watch the Greece versus USA 2006 World Championships, now known as World Cup, game, as though it's live. Now, we're gonna tweet along to it. What we'd say to you is, whatever you wanna do yourself, um, you know, yeah, have to crack. Like, I'm gonna do it as though I have never seen it, because I actually remember saying, to buddy of mine, Moshe Barda from the Sweet Sixteen, Your League Sweet Sixteen podcast. Uh, Moshe, oh, I hate it when I forget to put Your League at the start of the title. Sorry, uh, was that I? My memory of the game is actually terrible, genuinely. Like you know, because fourteen years ago, and it was mad early in the morning. So, like it's like yeah, wait, Greece won. Oops, a spoiler. Uh, but uh, you know, beyond that, honestly, telling you this and that from what happened, I'm actually pretty abysmal for. So I said, listen, bit of crack. Let's watch this as though I haven't seen it before, because all I really remember is. Papa Lucas was a boss, and Greece won, and obviously Sofo scared a lot of Americans. Uh, but I'm looking forward to it, so I'm going to tweet on it as though I've never seen it before, uh, and that'll be a bit of crack. I'll do a preview, uh, halfway report, halftime report, sorry, and an end of game wrap up. But also, I want to do this more over the coming days and weeks, because we're all going to be in this for a while. And so, what I'd like to say to y'all is, suggest some games, if you can find the full games in YouTube, link them in the comments below do it and i'll you know set up a time i'll try and get the whole reeling and the hoops crew that i'm hoping we'll all be able to go together on basketball twitter together we can like you know come together to watch these uh like i'm also a big boxing fan as you know on my personal account i was asking people to suggest fights uh just casually on saturday and immediately bombarded with fights on youtube which was fantastic like just great historical bouts to watch and i want to do that some basketball games Obviously, with boxing, you can do it. You can enjoy watching a boxing match on your own fairly well. It's very easy. Now, basketball, you can as well, don't get me wrong, but boxing is a little easier for the personal, just yourself. I think the social element of basketball is so important. So, uh, you know, join in the Twitter conversation if you can. Uh, you know, it's like I'm deliberately going with a hashtag because I don't want it to be about ball and you want it to be about all of us. So, rather than it being about, hey, this is what we're doing, ball in Europe, yada, yada. Now, this is about all of us making sure we look after each other. Because, yeah, we're going to be a hobby without basketball. And, uh, you know, so reeling the hoops, I'll have all the stuff in the details below. And, yeah, so listen, uh, all of you, just look after yourselves. Uh, one thing I will say, as a guy who everybody knows likes a good alcoholic beverage, an adult beverage, as some people might say, I like my beer. After, now, we had a big thing in Ireland Saturday night about it. And after, you know, and we were all there, listen, because the whole gathering together and it spreads. I love beer. I love having a drink. Um, it's great. I go to a game in a gym. I want to get to my, my, my home place, the Blackbird, afterwards if it's in Ireland, or I want to go to a pub. Often when I go across to foreign places, anybody who knows in Berlin knows there's a couple of pubs that are my like go tos there. Barcelona's the same. Uh, you know, I've got my, oh, that's where I'm drinking spots. And, you know, I know that right now for me to go to the pub is the wrong thing. Got plenty of beer in the gaff. Most you can buy beer yourselves if you're fellow drinkers. If you're not, by the way, that's fine. I'm speaking to the people who do like a beverage. You can enjoy it. And listen, no one's going to judge you if you freaking WhatsApp call your mate while you have a beer. Sure, I was having a glass of wine last night at home because I was getting rid of a half-finished bottle. And I just called a buddy up so I could have a chat while I'm having me glass of wine. Do it. Video call it even. Whatever. You know, have the crack. Like, you know, but please try to not gather largely like but do support these especially the smaller producers because they're going to be feeling it a lot uh you know do what you can to support them like i went out today for my actual groceries but made a point of buying as much from small independent breweries as i could i'll be doing a bit more of that on my personal channel but um lastly i want to leave you with why i'm wearing this particular cap today i want to give a shout out to my buddy scotty mclean uh, Scotland, as he's also known, uh, Scott Colin, I believe, is the uh, portmanteau. Uh, so Scotty saw the hats in the background here, and he said, "I've got to get you a Kent State one." And I think it's kind of almost apt that I wear this for this video because, in the time Scotty sent this, uh, put it, we'll put it in the post to when it got to me was over that during that time, Kent State managed to win the Mackey's Division for this season. Uh, and of course then, shortly afterwards, uh, before I got a chance to make this video, the uh, season as a whole for basketball, pretty much worldwide, was shut down. We know there's at least one league that's still going. Well, well, well uh, I don't think British basketball is formally cancelled yet, but BBL Trophy Final was today and there was a large acceptance that's the last game for the foreseeable. But listen, 
look after yourselves. We're going to be doing lots. There'll be lots of throwbacks. I am going to watch some movies. I'm going to come on here. I'm going to write on BIE. I'm going to talk about them and by movies, I mean basketball movies. From the greats to the dumb to whatever we find in between. Uh, if you want me to find a movie online to watch that's got a basketball theme, it can be a documentary, it can be a Hoop Dreams, although if it's Hoop Dreams, I'm not going to lie, that's going to be a weekend watch, because it's three hours long, it's fantastic, I love it, but if I'm going to rewatch it, that's going to be a weekender. Uh, but, you know, Airbud is definitely getting watched. <laughs> I've never watched Airbud before, so I'm really looking forward to it, because I'm a massive Space Jam fan, and I'm imagining there's a similar level of wonderful stupidity to Airbud. And uh, yeah, so from that to your serious ones, he got games and all that, like throw me a movie if you can get a link. And even if it's not in English, by the way, if you can find me a link that's got subtitles, uh, obviously perfectly legal because I'd like to support the filmmakers and creators, uh, put it in below. And yeah, listen, uh, you know, we're all going to be grand. Well, not all of us, that's a hard way of phrasing it, but I'm going to keep it in there anyway, because uh, I want to get the spirit of we're all going to be grand going, because if we're smart about it, will be grand. Like, my dad's 85, he's been a bit sick, a lot of you know this, he's been housebound anyway, he's possibly the safest person in his age group going, because he hasn't left the house really since mid-January, like, so, you know, he's been seeing nobody other than my mother. Uh, obviously, we were all visiting up until it became socially inappropriate, those of us who are, you know, his uh, his, his children. Uh, and my man now knows to stay at home, she even called me today saying, they're saying we should go out for a walk, I was like, not you, you're the wrong age. Uh, I'm not saying my mother's age, but she is younger than dad, but still in the age profile, so sorry, ma. Uh, and yeah, listen, also big shout out to Basketball Ireland and to the LEB in Spain uh, and ACB in Spain. I'm not sure if it's the LEB or ACB, so shout out to both of you for what you've been doing in pushing classic games too. That's something we need to do, like get people to gather around and make a social thing. We can be sociable, like, you know, online. Like, I'm looking forward to seeing a load of you in person, you know, when we get a chance. I'm, you know, looking forward to the next time I get to sit beside a court, no matter what level, no matter what caliber of basketball it is. But, you know, and even to watch a game on the internet, we're all looking forward to it. But for the time being, we don't have it. But it's going to be worth it. So be smart, look after yourselves. And uh, yeah, I will be back with you guys extremely soon.